Actually, I think this should be named as the extraordinary. Ooh, Ordinary is a brand under the CM company, so they call themselves the abnormal beauty company because they really are. They're very innovative, they're very disruptive. The founder has a lot of balls, like I look up to it. I think the Ordinary is yet by far the most attractive brand because of the price point and also all of their names of the products have no marketing bullshit whatsoever. It's basically named after the scientific active ingredient that they use in each product, so it speaks to a lot of skincare geeks like me but at the same time I think a lot of you guys were very confused and kind of lost if you especially don't know what these active ingredients do and I think the ordinary website itself did a really good job in explaining each active ingredient and they made a complete regime for myself I spend like hours and hours just reading the entire website now Desiem does ship to Korea and Desiem does in fact have a flagship store based in Seoul but they don't carry the ordinary yet in the flagship store so I think the girl was saying it's going to be available soon okay enough rambling I'm going to jump into the products starting off from vitamin b3 which is my favorite niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% so niacinamide is a wonderful ingredient in suppressing the melanin production so if you do have acne scars hyperpigmentation or uneven complexion and you want to brighten those spots up niacinamide is a wonderful safe and stable ingredient that you guys might be interested in trying out it's also a naturally moisturizing agent as well as a good anti-aging ingredient because it can actually boost the collagen production from within especially if you do have oily to acne prone skin this is a wonderful ingredient for you guys because it really regulate the sebum production, therefore it can prevent future breakouts and prevent clogged pores. However, this is not an acne treatment, so you don't want to expect this to kind of diminish and banish all of the breakouts you have. This is more like a preventative um, ingredient. Zinc 1% is there for charging your skin and clarifying your skin. So niacinamide is supposed to be highly effective from the strength or the concentration from 5% and above. And this guy took it to another level, which is 10%. And I did see wonderful, wonderful results after using this. My acne marks kind of faded a little bit in conjunction with other active ingredients that I'm using in my skincare regime but this guy pills like crazy so I can never layer this underneath my makeup therefore you have to use this in the nighttime skincare routine as far as I know the ordinary carries four different kinds of vitamin C derivatives and of course a lot of people choose the L-ascorbic acid suspension but that guy also has a lot of controversy because of the texture and the greediness it's kind of hard to work with it because it's super grainy so it doesn't seem like it's penetrating well enough a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it instead i went for something that's more stable and easy to use in your skincare regime which is the map 10 percent aka magnesium ascorbyl phosphate so this vitamin c derivative is fairly new or fairly newer than l-ascorbic acid but it's supposed to be way more stable and it's stable in neutral ph which means it's not going to be tingling i haven't had any irritation after using this and it comes in an emulsion or kind of lotion type map is a water soluble vitamin c derivative that's why it needs to be kind of buffered and surrounded by oil and silicone so it definitely does feel a little bit greasy not greasy greasy but a little bit oily and silicone -y. so you do kind of have that silicone -y feeling remaining on top of your skin this worked wonders in fading my acne marks and like dull spots and evened out my complexion when used with niacinamide together and this is another reason why i love map so much because you can actually use it with niacinamide without being counteractive so i love 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 map and niacinamide together if you're using l-ascorbic acid they do not recommend you guys to use niacinamide and zinc serum in the same routine because it can actually clash and degrade its efficacy now we have retinol one percent now retinol is a vitamin a derivative ingredient it's supposed to reverse that photo aging and it can actually brighten up your complexion it also helps diminishing and banishing your acnes and blemishes or any kind of skin problems i feel like a lot of dermatologists just prescribe retin a retinoic acid so i actually did test this guy on my neck area just to see and gauge how my skin reacts and how my skin kind of tolerates retinal product but I don't think I'll be using on my face because I know even though you have to go through a certain purging stage and a peeling stage and it can be irritating if you're a first time user, I've been having rashes and it's peeling like crazy and it hurts so bad. I heard advanced retinoid 2% is way more milder and way more gentle so maybe if you're interested in trying out any vitamin A derivative from The Ordinary, 
I think that's a safer choice to go for. Moving on to acids. First, I want to talk about azelaic acid suspension 10%. Azelaic acid ingredient itself is a very wonderful, like proven to be effective ingredient in reducing rosacea, redness, and inflammatory acne because it can inhibit the growth of P acne, which is the acne causing bacteria. So I was really, really intrigued. That's why I bought it. I don't like it. It just makes my skin so painful. Like even though I use the tiniest amount on the only spot, like one spot, the next day I wake up with this really paperish, like flaky skin. So I, I feel like it's super duper drying. I have this kind of burning sensation. So I can't go to bed because it's like, almost painful to go to bed. So if you do have sensitive skin like me, I don't think this is a, an ideal option for you guys. Moving on to one of the most popular product as well. This is the lactic acid 5% with hyaluronic acid 2%. Lactic acid is a group of AHA alpha hydroxy acid. It is a chemical exfoliant to resurface and retexturize your skin and it actually accelerates the cell turnover. So I love AHA in general. And I think 5% is like a decent, like mild yet very effective concentration to use and I had high hopes because lactic acid is naturally moisturizing it is a humectant so it draws moisture into your skin and it also is supported by hyaluronic acid 2% which is another water retaining ingredient so it's supposed to be more hydrating however whenever I use this I wake up with such a dry skin I've never experienced anything like that kind of dry skin with other lactic acid products and my skin gets kind of rough the next day rather rather than it smoothens my skin. Man, I really wanted to love this item because I love AHA and I love the ordinary price point. Now we have my favorite serum so far, which is the Buffet. I love this guy. I would definitely repurchase this. I highly recommend this to every skin types out there. I was initially drawn into this product because of the name itself, having the ballsy name called the Buffet, while every other The Ordinary products are named after the active ingredients. Judging by the ingredients that they put in, I think this should be worth like over $60 to be honest because it has a variety of proven to be effective peptide complexes including Mctrixyl 3000, Mctrixyl and Syn8 and other amino acids and a lot of different weights of hyaluronic acids. So peptide is really really important in our skin because it's actually building the amino acid and the mortar of the brick of your skin so it makes your skin appear more firm and more plump and it boosts the collagen level. A lot of people will benefit from this product so highly highly recommended now i bought this 100 organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil i love it so much because i do have oily skin to more acne prone skin and this is a wonderful dry oil that's high in linoleic acid than oleic acid content which makes it really penetratable and really well absorbing so it doesn't leave any greasy film on top so that's why a lot of oily and acne prone skin love 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 rosehip oil rosehip seed oil is rich in vitamin a which is retinoic acid and vitamin C. On top of that, it has numerous antioxidant qualities. So it's highly, highly recommended to every different skin types out there because it can not only moisturize and nourish your skin, but it can also regenerate new skin cells. It boosts the collagen level and it can actually fade your hyperpigmentation. I love mixing with this with my other serums and with my other moisturizers that I have, or I apply this on its own. So highly, highly recommend this. Last but not least, I have a makeup primer. This is the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. It's, it's basically a silicone-based primer that is supposed to blur out the look of the pores and also smoothen the bumpy skin texture. If you do have those kind of skin textural issue and you want to kind of coat that evenly and fill in the ridges a little bit, this will be a good primer for you guys. It does have a very strong chemical kind of silicone smell and it's not that it's not that pleasant applied on your skin because you're basically coating your skin with silicone but I guess that's what it does and it does what it claims to do which is smoothing out your pores and your makeup does apply more smoothly yeah let me know your favorite product from the ordinary range if you have tried it I would love to explore more and buy more products from the ordinary and possibly make the part two please share this video with your friends and family if you found it really interesting and informative and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel down below by clicking that red button down below and I'll speak to you guys soon Bye.